Hello everybody, and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. In today's news, experts have revealed evidence of a massive ancient lightning strike in the centre of a stone circle in the Western Isles of Great Britain. The site is at the famous Callanish Standing Stones, and one single large strike, or a number of small ones on the same spot, left a star-shaped magnetic anomaly in the centre of a 4 to 5,000 year old ancient stone circle on the Isle of Lewis. The discovery was made in what experts call Site 11, a hillside stone circle about 2.8 kilometres from the famous Callanish Great Circle in the island's Loch Rogue area, which, although once a stone circle, now only contains a single standing stone. The star-shaped strike, which covers an area up to 20 metres in diameter, was identified after a geophysical survey, and there is now a clear and obvious link between the construction of a stone circle and this force of nature. In the new research paper, titled Geophysical Investigation of the Neolithic Kalanish Landscape, which is available to read online in the link below, the scientists explain how the lightning struck sometime before Peter enveloped the stone circle around 3,000 years ago. Talking to the media, Dr Richard Bates of the University of St Andrews said, Such evidence for lightning strikes is extremely rare in the UK, and the association with the stone circle is unlikely to be coincidental. He continued, Whether the lightning strike at Site 11 focused on a tree or a rock which is no longer there, or the monument itself attracted strikes is uncertain. However, this remarkable evidence suggests the forces of nature could have been intimately linked with everyday life and beliefs of the early farming communities on the island. For me personally, having a strong interest in ancient stone circles, this discovery is particularly interesting. Nobody truly understands the purpose and meaning of stone circles across the UK and Europe, and even though there are hundreds scattered across the British Isles, they do remain one of the world's greatest mysteries. Many experts believe they are related to rites and rituals, some believe they are all astronomical markers or ancient observatories, whilst others say that these are places of gathering for ancient communities. Maybe there were all these things, maybe they were one, or maybe they were none. It is now accepted by most that Stonehenge has an association with nature, due to its alignments with the solstices. But now, it looks as though ancient stone circles had other natural associations. It looks as though the monument was erected around the location of a large strike, maybe hitting a tree or rock in antiquity. So it could be that this stone circle was commemorating the ancient act of God, much like an ode to nature. But did the lightning strike come first, or was it the stone circle? I would be interested to know your thoughts, so please do comment below. The fossilised lightning strike cannot be seen in the field with the naked eye due to the huge accumulation of peat. You would have to peel back all of the peat to see the scarring on the bedrock, but the geophysics shows it was certainly a spot of an extremely huge natural event. We know that lightning was significant to many ancient cultures of the world. In Germanic mythology, Thor was a powerful hammer-wielding god associated with thunder and lightning. The Roman god Jupiter, also known as Jove, was also a sky god associated with thunder, so it really is no stretch of the imagination that thunder and lightning gods go way back into prehistory. Maybe this stone circle on the Isle of Lewis was dedicated to an ancient thunder god. The discovery was made by the Kalanish Virtual Reconstruction Project, a joint venture between a number of organisations and universities. The team have also produced a 3D virtual model of another lost stone circle in the area, known as Nardromanon. Today the stones of this circle lie flat, and many have been buried under peat. This new discovery is hugely important in the story of Neolithic Britain and Europe, and it leads perfectly into my future on-location videos to ancient stone circles and Neolithic sites across the UK. I would just like to take this opportunity to wish everybody a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. It really has been another fantastic year running the Ancient Architects channel, and I really couldn't have done it without your support and the support of all those people that have donated on Patreon. I hope you all have a wonderful Christmas. Thank you very much for watching this news update from Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.